For anybody that already has a Mavis ID that has a secret recovery phrase attached to it or a hardware wallet, you may be wondering how the heck you're supposed to get these gems and buy this pass, but I got you covered here. What's going on Axie fam? Elijah here back with another video. Today I have a very important one. I will be showing you exactly how to set up a keyless wallet so that you can do things like buy premium passes in game or purchase Axies directly in Axie Classic. Before we get started, I do want to say that my creator code is final live we had a malfunction early on but it's working now so if you enter this before buying a premium pass it really helps the channel it helps us whenever you win a classic game and if you're wondering why you might want a premium pass well pretty much every serious classic player gets one each season they will unlock much higher rewards for you way more artifacts which are extremely important in climbing the arena in the current meta and you can see that the higher you go the pass starts to pay for itself with the amount of axs and slp that you earn it is a must have for anybody who wants to take season five seriously. If we do well on the classic code leaderboard, I'll do a giveaway at the end of this season. But without further ado, let's jump into the content. So right here, you can see that in order to buy anything in the shop, specifically a premium pass, which I already purchased on this account, you need to get gems. And when I click a bundle of gems, you'll see that I have USDC available to purchase them. Or if I want to go into go to morning and buy an Axie directly from here, I have the assets of available to do that as we can see in the top left. So in order to do this, you're gonna need a Mavis ID. Being able to buy things in Classic is actually very easy if you're setting up a new Sky Mavis account, which is what this example is. This was a new account that I made. So if somehow you don't have a Mavis ID yet, then you just need to follow the link in the description below and go through the steps of setting one up. You use your email, you'll set a recovery password, and what it'll look like when you log into Mavis Hub to play is this, where your Keyless Wallet and Ronin Wallet they're gonna be exactly the same. So let's just do a test purchase here of buying 100 gems. Again, it'll show us the amount of USDC we have and then the amount that we can purchase. And if I confirm this transaction in the prompt that shows up, we can see in our main wallet that that 99 cents got spent because instead of 50 USDC, we now have $49.01. It can take a minute or two for the gems to update in the game, but once the transaction has gone through, they are in fact available. I remember the first time I bought a premium pass, I purchased three. 3,000 gems with a bonus 3,000 for $30, which is 6,000 gems. It didn't show up in the game, but I was still able to go over and purchase the premium pass because on chain, the data was there and the purchase was made. But I just refreshed the game and you can see we went from 1,500 gems up to 1,700. So that just shows you how easy it is to make the purchase in the game with USDC. So now for the slightly trickier part, for anybody that already has a Mavis ID that has a secret recovery phrase attached to it or a hardware wallet, you may be wondering how the heck you're supposed supposed to get these gems and buy this pass because it's honestly a little bit counterintuitive at first, but I got you covered here. If you're logged into your account, it may look something like this where you have your main Ronin wallet, but there is no keyless wallet underneath it. One of the confusing things is you might try logging into your Sky Mavis account on their website, which gives you all this backend information. And I feel like right here, it should be very easy to set up this new wallet, but for some reason there's no option to. So this is actually not where you need to log in but if we go back to this Mavis ID setup guide it's the very first link here and once you click that it will show you what devices you've logged into it'll have your Ronin wallet address but most importantly you'll see this little blue square that says unmatched safe web 3 wallet set up now and this will allow you to set a new recovery password once you do that you will be relieved to go back to the Mavis hub and see that you now have a keyless wallet it was just that easy although a little hard to find but here here you go and this is a completely separate wallet from like your main Ronin account you don't have to worry about those in terms of transactions your cold storage is still your cold storage this is just to be able to allow you to go into the game like I showed earlier and make purchases so all you would need to do now is send a little bit of USDC to this wallet which I just did I sent myself 40 USDC and if I go into the game and I look at the shop there's a 5,000 gem premium pass if you want to purchase you're gonna go over here click the 3,000 gems I have 40 USDC available and before I set up this keyless wallet this account would not have been able to make this purchase I would have been sent to the Mavis ID site to set that up and that's probably where some of you have been stuck at and I hope this makes it really easy to understand how you need to load up this account to make these purchases in game you can see if you go to go to morning you can actually click your assets to withdraw them you can enter the amount and then the address that you want to send them to and that's an easy way to use this hot wallet and get your funds out of it back into your main account for instance you 
You can also import the keyless wallet into your Ronin wallet app or the extension itself. There's guides to doing that in the link below if you're interested. But for me, I only send small amounts to this hot wallet anyway to do things like buy a premium pass. So I actually haven't imported it into my extension, but there are guides to that. It's at the bottom of the page of the link below around all of these ID creations. For instance, importing the keyless wallet into Ronin extension. It seems pretty easy for anyone interested in doing that. Also remember that you can always check the transactions on chain. Even if you don't import your wallet into the extension, you can go to app.roninchain.com and I can paste in this new keyless wallet that I made. And you'll see that I haven't bought anything in game yet, but the transfer of 40 USDC went through. And if you make a purchase in the game, like you buy some gems, you can always come here and check if that transaction went through yet or not. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope that that made things easier for you guys to understand. It's a bit complicated, but once you figure it out, it's a relief to have it set up and it might come in handy in future games in the ecosystem. I think it's very important to set up a keyless wallet. Remember, use code Elijah to support the channel. I hope this video was useful. Love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.